Right, we're on. So, challenge today, nine holes here at Cardona, starting on the 8th tee, and I think we're going to play the, up to the 12th and cut over to 15, 16, 17, 18. And the idea is to try and break par. Okay, we're off. Good. About 106 yards, 54 degrees, push the tee shot away, right? <laughs> due to lack of warm-up, lack of practice, and the fact that it's only 8 o'clock in the morning. Right, 106, pins back left. 106. Oh, it's on it. Get up there. Oh, ho, ho. So it's preferred lies. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 18. Feet. God, it's cold this morning. So 18 feet for birdie. First part of the day. Oh. Right, we've opened up with a par. I think. Yes, we have. Cool, happy, right? So the idea today is to try and break par. Done this quite a lot now, been quite successful with it. So today, hopefully break par, but the conditions, tough, cold. The last three or four holes are going to be back into the wind. We'll see how we get on. Wish me luck. Right, level par. Par three, ninth hole we're on. So I started in the eighth tee. Downwind, 160 exactly from here. So slightly forward tee, um, because it's winter. So I think eight iron should be spot on. Middle of the green's good. Oh, it's right on it. It's right on it. Oh, it's good, it's very good. Okay, good eight iron in there. Great eight iron in there. Left myself one, two, nine feet. So, Couple of early chances to get under par. Come on. Oh, oh, it touched it. Wow. I read that off the right edge all day long, obviously not. Right, okay, that's fine, two holes done. Level par, we move on. Okay, hole 10, our third hole is 391 stroke index 4. Stroke index 4, 391, so decent start, two good chances missed though. It's a little bit, a little bit annoying. Come on, smooth one down there. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Felt good. <laughs> 119, good drive. 119, I'm gonna take my 50, back right pin. Again, another good chance to go at this. 119. It's just a little bit right of the pin. Get up! Oh, it's fine. Back right corner. Right, leak that a little bit to the right. I've got a 48 degree wedge that I've pulled to 50. And I have to keep that reminder on my golf club because I will forget that. Maybe forced it a little bit, which is why I pushed it to the right. A little pitching wedge at 119 probably would have been ideal. Hit pitching wedge at 135, 140. So a smooth wedge rather than trying to force the 50 would have been the shot. But again, another chance for birdie. We need to make some of these because it's all very well having putts and opportunities. But if we don't take those opportunities, we're never going to get under par. One, two, three, four, five, 15 feet. I'm going to leave the pin in this time. 
we have to start holding putts because we're obviously hitting the ball all right, hitting greens. And if we don't hold any putts, we're never getting under par. So inside right. Dreadful, dreadful putt. Okay, no conviction, no joy, let's go. My 11th hole, par 3, 186. We're on a forward tee, 186 is going to be probably 6 iron. Hard to see with the sun, pin, sort of middle right. Shoved it a little bit right, should be okay though. Yeah, so right hand side, kind of cut across it, wasn't my best strike, but it's done okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty feet for six iron. It's all right, I just felt uncomfortable over that tee shot to be fair. The, uh, the sunlight, not being able to see really where I was going was a little bit awkward. But we're fine, thirty feet. Coming off the right. Still level par. Be great to get a birdie and just have that little cushion. <sighs> Up the hill. Up the hill needs hit. <laughs> Strolled that in to make that look easy, but that was that was quite a hard third uh, third shot. Right level par, four holes down, par five next. Great chance for uh, birdie. So if we can get through the first five holes at one under par, that'd be fantastic. That is obviously the mini goal. Always a mini goal with these nine hole events. So the first five holes are so important. If I can get to one under through the five, then I've got four holes to play with on the way back. However, the four holes on the way back are going to be tough because I've got. 15, 16, 17, 18, all tough par fours, all back into the wind. It's going to be a hard mission. Come on, let's go. This is 12th hole, par 5, 479, stroke index 6. Oh, it's left, it's out the toe. So worst shot of the day, that was a shocker, absolutely raging at that, but we found it, it's just skipped into the rough, 2-5-6, I'm going to hit an 8 iron, <clears throat> I'm going to try and pump an 8 iron out here, wedge it on and get that birdie, god we need that birdie. It's come out really well, it was lying okay actually. Good, good. Right, we're actually, we're back in play, we've got, that's an opportunity now, so if we wedge, we're actually back into the wind now, this was downwind on the tee, now it's into the wind, so I probably wouldn't have reached in two, but great opportunity now, up and down, for a four, and then the mini goal's done. Worst case, we're level par through the five, but let's try our best to get one under, that'd be, that'd be brilliant, there's loads of holes to go, if that wind's changed round, we're downwind 15, sort of crosswind 16, 17, 18, so there's a chance there, certainly at 15 for a birdie, and then just hold on all the way in, 16, 17, 18. 106 back into that breeze. In fact, it's downwind now. It's, down. it's downwind now, so this wind's swirling everywhere. 106. Missed the fairway. Look at the wind blowing that flag down. Now it's back into.
I don't know whether to, in fact, you know what, I'm going to take my 50, let's downwind again. <laughs> right, wind's calmed down. Let's just hit it, 106. It's right on the flag, get up! Oh, go in, oh! Right, the birdie's on, chance is on, that wind was rough. I got a little spell there though when the wind just about died and I just decided I've got a 50 degree, let's just hit it 106 and see what happens and it's happened. <laughs> okay, delighted with that, so giving myself a tap in, a little tap in there. <laughs> a little bit confident with that, but there you go, mission done. So first five holes, one under par, that's always the mission on these nine holes, break par challenges. We've done it again. I mean, missed fairway, missed the fairway there. Terrible tee shot, eight iron back into play. The lie was okay out of this sort of light rough. The wind was a nightmare, but we coped with that. We're one under through five. Let's keep it going. Let's get under par for these nine holes. Come on, let's, let's, let's keep going. So we've jumped across on the 15th hole. 15th hole is 357, stroke index 18. So a chance for a birdie. Back into the wind, that wind is swirling about the place. Okay, let's get a good drive away. Yes. Yes, up the left side, that's perfect up there. Yeah, good, really good. Okay, the perfect tee shot. It's not often I say that, especially hitting driver. That's the perfect tee shot. 80 yards exactly, 54, so obviously left of the flag's good, stay away from the bunker, but from 80 yards we still want to be quite aggressive, so that little bush left of the flag, 80 yards, off the down slope, 80 yards. Stay there. Is that honestly 80 yards? Keep that rolling. Eighty yards. That's big back edge. I don't understand that. I don't understand why. Why a 54 hits so softly would fly way over 80. Have I misjudged that or I don't know. Anyway. So where we're at now, still a chance for birdie, a lot longer than I'd planned as in length of putt, but it's just got the hole, let's just do it, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, twenty, thirty, forty-two feet from eighty yards. I felt as though I hit it sixty yards, <laughs> it's come this far past. Elevation change coming down the hill, off the down slope, maybe a little bit flying in there, a little bit lower, but still, it's um, not a good outcome for the distance I had, but still, birdie opportunity. Got to look at the forward shot, not the shot that's just been done. So off the right edge. 14, 28, 38, 42 feet we said. 42 feet on a wet green. Probably playing 46. Oh, good effort. Good effort, right. Still annoyed at the second shot. <laughs> but we're away with a par. And of course with pars we're, uh, we're losing no ground. Night hole, nightmare tee shot next. If you look down there, in that valley there, that is the next tee shot. So tight, not my shot at all, but hey, we'll be fine. Absolutely fine. 16th hole, 372 yards, stroke index 10. So dog legs left, it goes through the valley, hangs a left. Um, 
I just need to get this up there far enough to have a view of the green so there's a little slope if I can get to the edge of the slope that would be great punch one out there Yeah, it should be perfect. A little fadey. Should be perfect. It goes along, down, then left. So that should be top of the slope. I might have to draw it a little bit around the corner, but that's much safer play for me than it is hitting driver. I've hit driver here before, I've hit three wood here before, and I've hit hybrid here before, and everything's been tragic. So I hit two iron. Two iron is now in a perfect position, but the thing is, when you do that, you have to hit two iron perfect to get to the top of the slope to be able to see the green, to have that view. If not, you're hitting draw fair second shot so by taking two iron it's riskier because you have to hit it pure to get that line to the green um, whereas driver on a fairway wood you're going to get down there but it just gets so tight between that tree and that tree 158 pins right at the back 158 8 irons 160 overhanging trees in the way if we punch an 8 iron and it comes up a bit short of the 160 if I keep it straight we'll still be putting so 160 oh it's on a good line just slightly right of the pin but it's up there pin high that is good that's very good so I've played so I played two really good shots there two iron eight iron to play two straight lines so just straight line up there, stop, straight line there, then worry about the rest of the hole from there. Right, let's get two under par. That'd be great, two under par with two to go. That'd be a little bit of breathing space. Let's imagine the leader in the open in the clubhouse just now is level par. We've got to beat this guy. Right, good shot there, like that. Left myself 10 paces, 30 feet back uphill. That pin is hanging off the back left of the green. I've never seen a pin there. So it's so hard to get back to that, but I've done well. So 30 feet up a wet green, right to left. So probably playing about 34 feet. Oh, go, go on. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, right, okay. I feel robbed there, that was, that was excellent. So really good effort there, really starting to get the pace of the greens now, taking into consideration the fact there's a bit of dew and a bit of water on them. One under par, two holes to go. I'd love to have been two under with two to go. I just love having that cushion. Got to build that cushion up. Let's play probably the toughest hole in the golf course now, in my opinion. Um, and let's stay under par. 17th hole, which is our 8th hole, one under par. And this is, got us into the wind. 417 stroke index 8, so quite a long hole. Again, I'm taking 2 iron because of the dog leg left. I want to keep it in play. It's easy to lose it right and leave yourself miles back. So if I can take a 2 iron a little bit tighter. And I, I just accept the fact I'm going to have a longer shot into the green. I'm fine with that. Pick your target. Oh, I've leaked it. Everything I said I didn't want to do, I've just done. I'm now miles back. Might not even be able to reach it. So a little bit scared there, just before I hit the shot there I was thinking more of don't go left, I was talking about taking it tight with the two iron down the left side and then of course it dawned on me there's a fact that I might actually go too tight there because that's not a place to be either so I just bailed out and I've left myself about 800 yards to the pin. <laughs> Still opportunities, you know we're one under and I'm looking at this thinking you know front edge of the green here would probably be pretty good and then there's an opportunity for a birdie on the net on the last hole so which is a tough hole but still an opportunity, so every hole's an opportunity, you've got to have that mindset I guess. Right, 224 back into the wind, just annoyed at the tee shot now. Two hybrid. Two, two, four. I've 
hit it well, it's going towards the left bunker. I think it's actually short left of the bunker, kind of went high and the wind brought it. I've made this hole really tough from the tee shot, but it's all right, it's an opportunity to make a great up and down, which is my full intention is on that. Right, tee shot's made it tough. Got a pin hanging off the back left. It's all a bit mucky in here. This is actually quite straightforward, the lie's decent. Don't really have to do much with this. It's all about distance control. It's come out alright. A bit of break in this, one, two, three, four, twelve footer. I'm wanting this one. Quite a bit of break from left to right. So it's coming off here. So it's breaking early. Twelve feet. Twelve feet with an early break. Overdone it. Overdone it. Right, bogey. Back to level par. So, tough hole coming up. 18th. Again, back into the same wind. It's going to be hard to make birdie there, but you know what? Get a good drive away, you never know what's going to happen. So, under par is still achievable. Right, final hole back into the wind. The wind's been crazy today. So, a three here would be ideal. That's what we need. We need a three here. Let's get a good solid drive away. Give ourselves a chance of that. Get the ball, ball's moving. Oh, it's gone left. Just left of the bunker. Trying to force it into the wind, what an idiot. Just left of the bunker, got away with it. Really shocking tee shot. Influenced too much by the weather conditions. I need to really work on that, came over the top, trying to keep it low, smothered it left. So 153. It's not that long, but into the wind. 153. I'm going to try and smooth up my... <laughs> I was coaching yesterday and somebody has gone home with my 7 iron. So I'm going to try and poke a little 6 in here. 8's not going to get there. Poke a six left of the pins, all right. Pins back right, so just a smooth six iron in there. One, five, three, really smooth. Ah, oh, I've pulled it left, go. Left, up the top left of the green. Okay, so I've <laughs> left myself the largest putt ever. Right, I've left myself, I'm back left of the green, so I've got probably a 50 foot putt down the slope, but it's a putt for birdie, and it's a putt to get under par, which was the mission. The seven iron situation, I was coaching a guy yesterday, and I noticed after my lessons that my seven iron was missing. I text the chap, he's got my seven iron, which is kind of him, he's going to drop it back in. And today, this is the only shot I've needed seven iron, and of course it was the most important shot, and I've taken more club than I needed and pulled it left. That's life. 2, 23, 24. So that is 60, 72 feet. 72 feet for the birdie. So I'm going to go for this. I'd rather be two or three over par. I'm not going to be two or three over, but I'm, so I'm level par just now. But the aim is to get under par. So I'm going for this. And if I three putt, well, so be it. I'm, I've got a mission. Right, let's get this right down there. There's no way we're not giving this a go. Completely misjudged it. Oh, it's so disappointing. I had huge plans for that, but God, just took it too far, just took it way too high. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's finish level par at worst.
<laughs> I'm so annoyed with the putt. I'd wanted to give that a chance to get to one under, but it would never happen. Anyway, that's been good fun. Level par for the nine holes. Never quite completed the mission, but still good effort. Tough conditions, very tough conditions. Thanks for watching. EurekaGolfSwing.com, that's my website. Hit the thumbs up button, the bell notification, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.